Good morning! We're going to go with snack. Today we're going to see Santa. So that's why my hair is like this. And I'm just going to do my makeup. But I said that I would better start the vlog. So my hair is done. And I'm going to just do my makeup now. But I actually got a few bits from Cafe on D. So I'm actually going to use their product that they gave me to try out. And yeah, I'm going to do my makeup with that. Okay, so I've been set up now on my desk because I need my two hands to show you some stuff. So the lovely girls at Cafe on D counter in Cork City. Like look at the packaging even, right? Anyway, they gave me the shade and light glimmer palette, which I haven't even opened yet. It's exactly on the back as well, the shade names. It's so cute, like how nice is that? The packaging alone is just like, wow. And there, the shades in it. So I'm gonna be using that for my eyes. It gave me the Locket Foundation in shade Light 44 Cool Tone. They had matched me up when I was in there that day as well. So they knew exactly which one to give me. And they gave me their new Locket Concealer in shade Light 5 Neutral. Before Caf on D even came to like Ireland, before you could buy it in Ireland, I actually bought like five of these in Vegas when we went there on holiday. And so just from that alone, I know that their foundations are amazing. And they gave me four of their new product, which is called the Everlasting Glimmer Veil. Guys, these are amazing. Like Televator is a purpley kind of a shade. Reverb, which is like a blue shade these colours is that they're all really like glittery. When I seen the girl inside she had one of these on her lips and it looked like she put on a lipstick and then padded glitter on top but it's like no it was just one of these. They're like a, a liquid lipstick and they dry but it like dries with glitter effect it's amazing. It thunderstruck and this is like a more neutral shade so I might actually wear this one today. Rocker which is like an orangey kind of red shade. So I don't know which one I'm gonna wear. I can't go too mad to see Santa. <laughs> gave me the lip liner in shade Scully, which like is a black lip liner and it's a, a twistable. It's really soft and creamy. I don't know, could you? I presume you could use it as an eyeliner and stuff. So I'm gonna test that out. Here are the kind of face products and stuff I'm gonna be using from Cat Von D. Kind of go-to products I'm gonna be using Essence Lash it's just a clear gel. Number 90 eyeliner gel from Inglot. And with the NYX eyebrow pencil. And I think this is Espresso, yeah. Push Up Angel Mascara. Eye Bright from Benefit. Sam Eyes from Rimmel. Zero Two Sparkle Dust as my highlight from Inglot. Alabama for blush. And MAC Prep and Prime for my setting powder. So I'm just going to get into it. I'm obviously going to speed it up because you're not going to want to watch it like bit by bit. So enjoy. <laughs> cool but I just think it's a bit too pale I'm gonna have to put on like a nude shade or something and I haven't put on my eyelashes yet but love the eyeshadow from that palette it's actually just gorgeous like there's so many different looks you could create with it and the foundation and the concealer amazing so big thumbs up guys <laughs> I'd love to try one of the more like crazy colours for the lips but it's just not the right time when I'm going to Santa. 
but I love it. So I'm just going to put on my eyelashes now. And I love my hair like this, by the way. Okay, so we're actually in the car now. Yay. <laughs> that was a mad dash. Um, we're actually going to town to get clothes to go to Santa. Colin's in his Christmas clothes for Santa. My, myself and Philip have to go and get proper clothes. I'm just thinking that like we should be like at our best for the Santa photo because that's the one that you look at every year. Do you know what I mean? What do you think? <laughs> Philip's like, I don't care. <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> Philip's a bit hungover. He's a bit tender. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's our plan. We're ready to go as in like our hair is done, my makeup is done. All we need to do now is go get clothes. Philip is raw with the hunger, he's starving. So are you. Yeah, I yeah, but you're gonna die. <laughs> I am hungry, but like Philip's like, no, we need food first. Whereas I'm like, no, we need clothes first. Colin's wearing like a tartan shirt, so we're gonna get something similar for Philip and I don't know what I'm gonna get to be honest. So that's the plan. So we'll keep you updated. You know the way we were already tight for time. Well, <laughs> we just got to the end of Shannon Street and we realised that we don't have no Colin's buggy, buggy behind you. in the car. And if I have to carry a rope, my head is going to fall off. Because <laughs> yeah, um. he's getting so heavy. So now we're backtracking. We have to go back home and get Colin's buggy out of my boot. But you know what's so annoying is that we opened your boot and we put stuff into your boot and we didn't even click on. <laughs> So looks really? like beyond hungry. We're, we're just after coming into like super much. Colin's in his Christmas clothes. How cute is this shirt? <laughs> he was asleep, but we had to get out of the car, so we disturbed him. These are pictures that are in the supermax and I just wanted to come over and have a read of them because how cool is that? The opening of Cork City Hall and like the horse and carts and oh my god the top hats oh my god that's crazy and then St. Patrick's Bridge and people like just on their horses and carts I love all this stuff by the way <laughs> He's like, I want to press the little button. Give us this mate. Give us this mate. Give us this mate. Oh, you're delicious. You don't want to miss a collar. Don't miss a collar. Huh? Who's going to see Santa? Huh? Who's going to see Santa? So yeah, so we're out in Magical Blarney. And we're meeting Philip's sister and her family. <laughs> Sorry, um, to see Santa. So obviously it's Colin's first time seeing Santa as well. We had a mad dash. We actually got changed in the car. Great times. <laughs> but yeah, we're really looking forward to it. The cutest dash. The Alphavader. Or the Alphavader. Take off his hat. <laughs> Name what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be alright. I did, I uh, you know. I did, we found it. Hopefully, yeah. Unless you see some picture like Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Avenue, and it's for all the elves who are like shopping. So there's a oh. hairstyle shop. This is where Santa comes when his beard gets really long and he has to have a trim. <laughs> this is Colin. Hi, Colin. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> There's too much going on. I know, yeah. see. We see. This is our snuggle down there. Do you see the elves and they're fast asleep in their beds? <laughs> Check the naughty list. I love your ring, it's beautiful. Uh, what about you, Subian? You're on a nice sister's way, mate. You check Colin, you see? That's easier. Take the phone. Hang up. Hang up there. Oh. <laughs> 
Colin, Colin, hey, give us a smile. Give us a smile. Give us a smile. Is it going over here now? Look at the camera. I got the camera. You're looking at it. Oh, well done. Good boy. So it's night time now. You've seen some of the magical experience of Santa and Blarney. And we're home. I had a bit of a stressful one. I'll show you the picture. You know, being a girl. I was in a bit of a bad mood because I think I just wanted everything to be perfect for Colin for his first thing, for his first like Christmas and his first Santa experience and so on and yeah, long story short, we had to rush, we bought clothes, put them on and basically the car, I'm not even joking, my jeans didn't fit so I had to change my whole outfit to what I was actually wearing all day anyway, which was fine but it's not what I wanted, this is the photo. The more I'm looking at it, I love it. But when I <laughs> seen it first, I was like, just close this straight away. I'm just allergic to myself. But look, I'm gonna enjoy Christmas. And then, it's just my weight. Like, I think a lot of people, I was gonna say girls, but like men are the same, I suppose, in some aspects. I'm just not comfortable with the weight that I am. And I'm like, Colin is gonna be one in March, and I'm still not the weight that I'd like to be. That's just always been my struggle anyway. When I was like a size 10, I thought I was fat. And now I'm not a size 10 anymore. And I'm like, I'm so fat now. It's just gonna be my goal. And Philip is just so good, like seriously. He's so good with things like this. And with me, that he's so good at reassuring me. And he's like, look, we'll tackle anything that you want now after Christmas, enjoy Christmas. We'll enjoy it as a family. I can say set a goal now for Colin's first birthday, which is the 2nd of March, of what I want. And I'm going to work so hard to that goal. So I'm vlogging this so that I have to stick to it because otherwise I'll be allergic again. I'll be in the same position in March, months later, being like, <laughs> I hate my body. I'll give you a close up of the picture now, but that's the story but now I'm just feeling more kind of like myself I suppose and not feeling in the bad humour and yeah I'm watching Cinderella the movie on TV it's on on RT1 and like literally the bit where she meets her fairy godmother but she's the old woman and she's been so kind to her and stuff and I'm like oh my god like that's what life is about feeling grateful again because I should be I've nothing to be ungrateful for my body is my own issue and I am the only one that can tackle that and change it so that's my goal and then we'll probably just close up the vlog and see you for the next one come on do your walkies why are you doing the splits <laughs> why are you doing the splits